participated in the 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb at Kyle Field, honoring the lives lost that fateful day. News 3's Anna Maynard, Maynard shows us their journey to the top and why it's important for them to do it every year. Their climb began at 846 this morning, the same time the North Tower was struck 22 years ago today. Firefighters made it to the 110th floor before the building collapsed. You know, as a nation, we say we'll never forget. This is us never forgetting. Participants kept those who were lost close, wearing lanyards with photos of fallen first responders to honor their memory. There were 343 Fire Department New York firefighters who lost their lives, uh, countless numbers of police officers and EMS workers, and so we're here to make sure that those lives are never forgotten. That Thomas Berry III was the first person to complete the climb, but to him it wasn't a race, rather a trek of reflection and respect. If I can make a difference as big as he can and show extra effort just as he did going out and serving, that was the whole reason I did this. And Participants came in all ages and professions, but were unified in remembrance of the lives lost 22 years ago. We all still remember where we were when we heard the news and everything, but today I stand in honor of the Fire Department New York chaplain, Chaplain Michael Judge. He was the victim number one of the World Trade Center. In College Station, Anna Maynard, News 3. The Bryan and College Station Fire Departments come together for the stair climb every year. Brian.